So, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but Disney had a time. They've been pushing out some spiritually bankrupt products over the last few years, and things have been looking really shitty for this company. I mean, their television stuff has been doing really well. You know my thoughts on Clone Wars Season 7, and Mandalorian Season 2 was great. Honestly, I'd say it's fantastic and better than Season 1. And WandaVision was a fun watch, but I'm saving my thoughts on that show for a later date, probably. Maybe. I'll, I'll see what my schedule is like. But on the movie front... Not so much. Pixar has been doing really fine, so they're not in question here. But Disney itself has been... Uh... Last year was probably the worst year Disney has had in so long, with two of their worst failures they've ever put out in both practice in business and, of course, quality. So when I heard that Ryan the Last Dragon was going to come out in March, I wasn't sure how to feel. Their last animated film was, shall we say, painfully average, and the marketing wasn't doing any favors for the film either. The first teaser trailer was awesome, and, but the rest, when they were showing more of the titular Last Dragon, were lowering my confidence to this movie to a concerning degree. Plus the fact that they're trying to do the whole premiere access deal again like they did with Poor Effort the movie made me feel like this film wasn't going to amount to anything. So I paid them my well-earned $30, and... Wow, it was actually great! Yeah, I'm as shocked as you are. Granted, I have my problems with the movie, and I'll get to them in a second, but man, there's a lot of great stuff to talk about here. First off, the animation is real pretty. The textures on each character look stunning and they move so fluently and smoothly. The designs are also excellent in my opinion. The lighting in particular is honestly the best I think I've ever seen in any 3D, CG, whatever you want to call it, animated movie, particularly during the action sequences. Especially one in a palace and the sun is shining through the structures. It's just... Just look at that, man! Speaking of the action, wow. What, I mean, wow, does, does this movie deliver on that promise? It's so fast and energetic with some amazing cinematography and choreography. The opening action sequence might be my favorite in the movie, just based on stakes and overall character building. The score was also sufficiently epic and touching. The characters were really likable as well. Rai is a very fun protagonist and you understand her motivations and her backstory, but I'd be lying if I said that the side characters were the standouts of the feature. I like this young salesman slash captain who who likes to charge anyone around him with his food and spices. The baby con artist was honestly an inspired choice. And Sisu, while comedically off and on, as in with Aquafina's actual, you know, comedy stand-up in my opinion, had a backstory that I really enjoyed and even related to. This leads me into my absolute favorite thing about this movie, the themes of trust and learn to understand people's motives and backgrounds. There's a brilliant scene towards the end that I won't spoil, but let me just say that it left me blown away with how well executed the themes of the film were. Except when it doesn't. What I mean by this is that there are some scenes where characters do things that in hindsight went against who they were. Like there's a scene where Sisu wants to buy something for the enemy as a welcoming gift and she doesn't have any money. So the captain suggests the idea of, oh if you if you don't have any money why don't use some credit and use that to pay them back later. And she decides to do that. But wait. Wasn't it established if she was very trusting of herself and others? Then why wouldn't she pay back all those people? It just felt kind of out of character for her. It might have to do with the shape-shifting thing, but it seemed like her personality was still intact even when she's in her human form. It was also kind of a forced way for her to get herself in trouble, but you understand what I'm getting at. Sometimes characters will do things that make no sense due to who they are as a character. Also, the movie has way too many exhibition scenes. Like, I, I, I get it. It, it. It's supposed to establish characters in the world, and that's fine. But we could have just seen the scenes without them explaining it to us, or better yet, cut out the expository dialogue altogether for the scene. It's just one of my biggest issues with film, and unfortunately this movie lands in that territory sometimes. Also, no. Hate this joke, and hate everything it stands for. But on the whole, even with these flaws, I really enjoyed this movie. I wouldn't mind seeing it again. Great job, Disney. Make more of these, and make me want to pay $30 to see this, than this, and make me work myself to death for that $30 I spent. It's an 8 out of 10 for me, which, by the way, yeah, stop with the $30 thing. I don't want that to be my premium access fee.